and welcome to another video. My name's Claire and I am the creator here at Crochet with Claire. We are going to make a beautiful blanket. This is a scrap blanket. I used to call it my ugly blanket, but it's not that ugly because the colors are amazing. I made this blanket about 15 years ago. I'm not quite sure on exactly how long ago, but it was a very long time. If we get close up, you'll see that it's like, it's gone all fluffy. This is just an acrylic yarn. It's gone all fluffy, but you can see the beautiful, beautiful colors it creates by using three strands of yarn. You could make this with two strands if you really want, but I think with the two, with, sorry, with the three strands that it really works up awesome. You can also use this pattern to make a mug rug, which I will show you in just a moment, and also a scarf. You could get really creative and use three strands of yarn for any project that you're making. You could even use some of my patterns here, my video tutorials. I've just got this laid at on my spare bed, so you may see my vacuum cleaner just at the end of the bed there. <laughs> but this is what we are going to learn to do. In the video tutorial, I will be making a mug rug because it is much easier to fit in the screen and on my desk where I do my filming. Here is my mug rug and it is so, so pretty. So many different colors that you can come up with. Combinations are fantastic. So this is my mug rug, but like I said, you can use this exact pattern to make the blanket that I just showed you. And I, have this in my office and I put my cup of tea on there or my cold drink and it just protects my table. I think it's great. And I've put hot drinks on here and it hasn't melted any of the acrylics. Let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies, we are going to need all the scrap yarn that you have in your stash. You want to keep it the same thickness. So this is DK in England. It is an eight ply in Australia. And it is a light worsted or a number three weight yarn in the USA. I have plenty of leftovers of this thickness of yarn because this is a very common thickness of yarn in Australia. If you live in America or somewhere where it uses a thicker weight or even a thinner weight yarn as your regular yarn, then you've probably got more of that weight in your stash. So if you're going to use worsted weight, I would suggest sticking with that through the entire project. And again, if you're using DK like I am here, then just stick with that thickness of yarn. You are going to need a lot of scraps for this project. I've just got this in front of me because this is all I can find because I have apparently I have no scrap yarn. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on that. <laughs> and what we're also going to need, apart from our yarn, we are going to need a yarn needle with a large eye. A pair of scissors may come in handy and also a crochet hook to go with your project. I'm using a nine millimeter crochet hook with this yarn. I'm going to be using three strands all at once. So I'm using a crochet hook that's going to give me lovely squishy fabric when it's made up. If you're using three strands of a worsted weight yarn, which is equivalent to an Aran, around about an Aran or around about a 10 ply Australian, then I would suggest using a bigger crochet hook you might want to use a 11 or a 12 millimeter, something that gives you lovely squishy fabric. You don't want your crochet hook too small, otherwise the yarn is going to be stiff and it's gonna stand up by itself. And who wants a stiff, yucky blanket? Not me. So pop your yarn aside and we're going to grab three strands. For this project, I am using the half double crochet stitch if you don't like that stitch, because I know some people don't, you could choose a single crochet or you could choose a double crochet. It's really up to you with this project, but I will be teaching using the half double crochet. What we need to do is just make a slip knot. You can make this any way you like. There are so many different ways. Oh, look at this color combination. Who would have thought that these colors would look so good together? You might be asking me what colors they are. <laughs> This is a Stolecraft DK, it's an English yarn. I know that's, I think that's Jaffa. Not a clue and not a clue. That might be fondant. I have no idea. There are so many scraps, there's so many colors in that yarn range. So pop it on, make your chain as long as you want your blanket wide. So don't ask me how many chains I've made because I'm not gonna tell you you're just going to continue chaining 
until you get the width that you want. For the purpose of this project, I am going to be making a super tiny blanket. Once we get to the end, now if you want to use a foundation half double crochet, you can, but I'm going to use the chain just because it's an easier way to do it. And if we've got beginners watching, then they're going to find this a lot easier. What we're going to do is half double crochet in the second chain from our crochet hook. We don't count the one that's on here. We count this as our first one and this as our second one. So I just like to put my thumb there. That just gives me a guide of where I'm going to put that crochet hook. I'm going to go through, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now the three strands of yarn are counted as one. So one, two and three. So yarn over there and we're going to pull through all three. We're going to half double crochet all the way to the end. If you don't know how to half double crochet, and this is going a little bit too fast for you. I will put a link in the description box for a half double crochet stitch and will also pop up pop up on the screen. So we're going to half double crochet all the way. Now see how it's working up and it's it's squishy like you can squish it it's not stiff. That's going to make a really lovely blanket. I made my original blanket I'm going to say 15 years ago, it was when I hardly knew anything about crochet and I only knew like one or two stitches. But I'd made like hundreds of things. I went through a scarf making phones, sold lots at markets and shops, and I had all these leftovers. So I thought, what can I do? I know, let's just shove them all together. <laughs> And I'm going to show you in a minute what to do when your yarn runs out. So we're going to just half double crochet all the way across. I've got one more stitch to go. Now if you've not made many blankets or many things in rows, which just means like side to side, like what we're doing, I suggest using two stitch markers. So two stitch markers, these can be anything. You can have ones that you've purchased. You could even just use a random piece of yarn. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it at the beginning. So go way back to the beginning, pop that in there. And what this is going to do is help us so that our blanket doesn't uh, become a triangle or a weird shape that doesn't even exist and you've made it up. <laughs> if you need help with that, I do actually have a video for that one. So it'll pop up on the screen right there. And I'll also put it in the description box. We are going to do a chain one but I want you to do your chain one really loose and then we're going to half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet in the very first stitch so that's right here I'm going to go in complete your half double crochet stitch I am loving these colors together they are not colors I would have chosen let me just grab them a pink a light pink a light green and are like in your face fluoro orange that is like high viz fluoro orange as orange as you can get not a color choice i would have gone with but look at that i think that looks awesome okay we're going to half double crochet all the way across so we'll do a couple of stitches and then i'll show you how to change uh if your yarn runs out okay so let's pretend let's how on earth did i knot that around there i have no idea we won't even go there so let's change one of our colours out. I'm just going to pick pink and I'm, we're going to pretend that this yarn has run out. So my pink yarn's run out. It's all gone. See you bye. Thank goodness it's gone. I'm sick of looking at it. <laughs> so this, this yarn has run out. So what we're going to do is, and a really good way to do it is just ram randomly pick up a colour. Do not plan this. If you're going to plan it, go for it. This is much more fun if you don't. <laughs> you're going to grab your yarn and we're going to join it in. You can use all different types of joins. There's the Russian join, which I do have a video for. I will put, again, put a link in for that if you need to use that one. But you know what? In the blanket I made a million years ago, I just tied a knot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with tradition and tie a knot. I can hear you all going, what? Don't tie knots in crochet. That's what I've been teaching you for 12 years. But let's rebel. Let's tie a knot. And we can crochet over these. 
and we're just going to crochet as normal and our knot's going to come up so we're just going to grab our yarn strands and we're just going to pom pom we're going to pull it to the front and we're just going to continue that knot I don't even know how that's even happened so I'm just going to crochet over it I'm going to keep going ignoring it this is a scrap blanket after all and you will not even see it with all this color so just lay your yarn strands on the top and then continue on if you are going to uh, sew them in then do that it's your blanket you don't have to do what I'm doing so sew them in sew them in as you go because there are going to be a lot of ends with this project and they're going to be in random spots and that's pretty much what we do for the whole project and I'm going to show you what to do at the end again you can't see but off camera the yarn balls are getting closer and closer to me because they're not unwinding like they should be that's a stitch marker can't see them yet but they're, they're literally right next to my hand <laughs> they're creeping up on me look the other one's like right there and the, the other one's like rolled across the table so let's unwind some more and see how we've marked the stitch that doesn't even look like a stitch like we could push that down like that and continue on I wouldn't even know we've missed it that's how we get our weird shapes because we've missed a stitch and it decreases amounts the amount of stitches on your row so just here we've marked the stitch we're going to pull that out and we can see we've got a stitch here to work into if you're just a beginner you can leave that crochet it's not a crochet hook it's a stitch marker you can leave your stitch marker in there and just crochet into the stitch if you're a bit more advanced and you probably know how to remove it and crochet into it sometimes it disappears and you're not sure where it's gone so we're just going to work our half double crochet oh look here's something I've got to tell you we've only got two strands of yarn on the crochet hook mm -hmm. so somewhere we've dropped a loop so let's come back we can see three strands there so we can pop that back in we know that's correct I'm glad that happened because that was one of the things I would have forgot to tell you okay so luckily I've left this stitch marker in because now I don't know wouldn't have known how many stitches I had left okay so we've got our stitch marker there and we're gonna go into that stitch now we can remove our stitch marker if you haven't already we're gonna work a chain one but we're gonna work it loose absolutely no tension on that Oh my goodness, I think I need to start another one of these projects. We're going to half double crochet into the very first stitch. I can see my stitch marker sitting there, so I know it needs to go in there. So continue on working like this until you have your blanket complete and with the magic of YouTube I will have my little square complete in about three seconds so pause the video and I'll see you when we're ready to finish off to save time and to get more tutorials out for you I'm choosing to make mine a little rectangle it looks like a little bath mat you can make yours rectangle you could make it square it is completely up to you if you're going to change colour then cut off your yarn and sew in your ends if you're not then we can just continue on which is amazing inside a secret I cut off my ends but I've just joined my yarn back in <laughs> into this 
corner stitch, which is the last stitch that we just did, we are going to work a chain one and a half double crochet into that stitch. Now we've got to find our stitch marker. Honestly, all my supplies that I use, I swear they have legs. Because I never where I put them. It's not me that moves them. So this is the side of our blanket or the project you have created. So we're going to half double crochet along the edge. And what we're going to do is in the end of each row, we are going to work half double crochets. So that was our first one. The next one, you'll see like there's holes. And that's where we're going to work into. We are keeping it simple. So there's one there. And then we have another one here. And there. My table is about 1.8 meters long, which I would say is about six and a half foot. And my yarn balls have rolled halfway across it. <laughs> There's no chance of them sneaking up on me now. <laughs> Alrighty, so next row we've got hold there and there. You should be able to find them with your fingers quite easily. And we've got one more row left, so we have a Let's go, okay, so let's go there and there, and then that's going to be our corner. Oops. Or maybe not, no. Sorry, ignore that last part. So we've got there, now that I've worked it in, it doesn't need to go. So into the corner, which for me is where we started, should be for you too. If it's not, it doesn't matter. So into this corner space, we want to work three half double crochets. So now I have some yarn tails and you can work over them if you prefer, or you can sew them in later, it's up to you. And we're going to work along the bottom here. So I did, what did I did chains, didn't I? Sorry, I've just worked another crochet tutorial in half double crochet, and I did a foundation stitch. I'm pretty sure I did a chain. <laughs> you will know because you have just made this project. <laughs> I'm not going to crochet over that because it will confuse you if you are a beginner. But all you do is you just lay it on the top like that and then you just crochet into your stitches and it will get trapped. But it's just going to get in the way because there's so many yarn ends. So into my chain I am going to go into these chain stitches. So basically we're working on the other side of the chain. Even if I did do a foundation half double crochet, you're going to have chains anyway and you're going to work into those. Now I think about it, I think I did chains. <laughs> Does anyone remember? Put it in the comments below. Also too, uh, let me know what thickness of yarn you're working with. I think a, a worsted weight yarn one would come up super cool as well. I'm just going to keep the camera going because this is a small project. It won't be long until I'm till the end. 
pause the video if you need to. I don't mind. I will be here when you get back. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of one of our sides and this was the bottom of the project so I'm just going to have to have a look and we're going to work out where we're putting stitches because that's not the corner stitch that's I'm going to do one more there and then this is our corner but see how I want to get it so it's not going to leave a massive hole now my yarn needles disappear. There are three loops at the front here and there's three loops at the back. And that's what I'm going to try and get with this crochet hook. It's not very pointy because it's so big, but that's what I'm going to try. So I'm going to hang on to those back ones. And we're going to do a half double crochet stitch. So we're going to wrap our yarn. I'm going to hold on to that. And then I'm going to go through these three that are just here, kind of all smushed up. Yes, got it. And then go through those back ones. I'm using my thumb and my fingernail to like push the stitches over, just helping it over there. So pull through. Then yarn over and pull through all three. I apologise for my fingernails in this um, video tutorial. I don't know if you can see they're growing out. I had um, acrylic nails, but we got locked down. And I knew it was coming because I just had this feeling. They were talking about it, but then they weren't talking about it. And I thought, if I don't get these nails removed, then I'm going to have some really funky grow out. <laughs> and it's going to look terrible. So now I've just got to put up with I don't know if it's even showing up on the video, but there's like a little bit of acrylic where it's growing out. It's half grown out already, so can't be too much longer. I've, I've lost count how long we've been in lockdown. feels like forever. So in this stitch here, in there, this is our corner stitch. And we want to put two more half double crochets in there because we want to make sure it sits flat on the corner. If we do one... What it's going to do is our stitches are going to curl up and it will not lay flat. So you might have to push that in there. So that's our second stitch. Then yarn over and go and do another one. Like It's a really small hole for me so you may have to give it some help. See how that's laying lovely and flat there, it's not curling up. So again, we are on our side piece. So for every row, we do two half double crochets. So we're going to count this corner as our first half double crochet for that row. So the next hole, which is just here. Looks like I've split some yarn there or something funky, but so be it. We are going to crochet in that hole really is a hole because it's not really a stitch. And again, I'm just using my finger at the back to sort of feel on the back and then just push when I feel a hole. And because we've used the bigger crochet hook, it's going to be quite easy to feel where it is. There you go. I mean, if you miss a hole, there's no crochet police. Really, don't worry about it. Remember how I said there was no chance of it coming over? This green one, seriously. Goodbye. Goodbye. The orange and pink are not coming because they're stuck on something. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to crochet all the way across. And I just said that and the orange one just came unstuck and rolled towards me. <laughs> oh, funny. So your yarn might sort of like go like that, like one's going to go loose, but just sort of run it between your fingers 
and just push it down a bit and push it down as far as you can go. Okay, so we're coming up here and this is our last stitch on this. Is it? Oh, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. That's our last stitch. So we're going to put three half double crochets into that last stitch there. So it's another corner stitch. So we have to put three in. And we're going to turn around the corner. So now we are just back to, this is the last row that we crocheted. So now we just have literally stitches to go through. So that's awesome. So we're literally just going through the stitches as you would a normal half double crochet, which is right there. Go all the way to the end. Like I said, pause the video if you need to, because mine's only super small. I may not undo this. I may keep this as like a mug rug. Because <laughs> it's so cute. Loving the colours. And look, this is just about to run out. Yarn chicken win in a minute. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that green one is like coming back again. It must like me. Look. Seriously? Go. All right, we've got one stitch left here. So when we started, we put in one half double crochet. Do you remember that? We put it into the side here. So that one, did I just say double crochet? Half double crochet. That half double crochet was worked into this stitch here, which is our corner stitch. So because we've got one there, we only have to put two more in, and then we're gonna join it. So we can see we've marked our stitch, so we're going to go into that stitch. Oops. I'm going to take that out because I can't see what I'm doing. You want to go under all the loops, so it's actually six loops of yarn. And then pull through for a slip stitch. Awesome. We are now finished our blanket. If you want to work another round of crochet, I am not going to because that is how I traditionally, or I should say originally, did my blanket. You may need to just give it a bit of a flatten out there. Oh, that's so cute. I'm not undoing this. This is my new mug rug. Love it. That was where I cut my yarn off, so I need to sew in those ends. But what we're going to do now, uh, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked by the pretty. <laughs> what you need to do if you're going to do another round is you're going to uh, half double crochet across. When you get to the second stitch that's in the corner, so one, two, and three, you've got your three stitches there that's worked into the corner. Into the second stitch here, you're, that's where you're going to work your three half double crochets because that second stitch becomes your new corner stitch because if you've got three, the middle one there is the corner stitch. So that's what that is there. And then you'd work your way across. Again, you'd have a look and you'd say, right, where's that stitch where I did three, which is right here. Let's find those three stitches, one, two, three. In the second one, that's where you're going to put three half double crochets. But with this project, I am not making any more rounds because my original blanket did not have that and that is what I am teaching you to do. So I'm going to pop that back on there. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through. And just pull your crochet hook out and pull that down and that will make that secure. So I need to sew in some ends. As you can see, that's where they all got cut off. It just looks so awesome. So it's sewing our ends. So thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate that. 
I've had this blanket, like I said, it's got to be 15 years. I've crocheted for 20 and it was like way at the beginning of my crochet adventure. And I've had it on the back of my chair for... I can't remember if I had it on the back of my chair in the old house. I don't think I did. I think I had it on the couch. Ooh, come on. But um, since we've moved, I have had it on my computer chair, my office chair. And in winter, on those cooler days, I've just had it on the back of my chair so I can grab it and, and um, put it on my lap. I've even wrapped it around my shoulders. Where has my yarn needle gone? I told you these things disappear. Really? <laughs> I, I can't make this stuff up. Yeah, so it's it you know it's been around my shoulders, it's been on the back of my chair and on my lap, wrap it around my legs. And it's only acrylic, but it does keep me that extra bit warm when it's a bit chilly in the office. But it's not quite cold enough to put the heater on, you know, those times of days. And so the point of this, me saying that was that it's been on the back of my chair in a few live videos recently. And people have been asking me, what is that blanket? I need to know. So this is what it was. Nothing too hard. If you're an experienced crochet, it's super, super simple. And I can remember making this watching TV and I took it to a crochet group. And there is a video here on YouTube of me showing it and just going, hey, this is the blanket I made. Maybe that's going to make me out to be a lie because that might be tell me when I made it. So maybe it wasn't 15 years. I'm going to have to go and watch that video now. I will put a link below and on the screen to that video. It's one of my favourite blankets because it's so colourful. And because it was at the start of my crochet adventure as well. I really love it. Okay, all our ends are sewn in. I've got a mug rug. I'm totally putting that as a name for this video. But it can be a blanket. You could make a scarf out of this. You know, you could make it for bag panels, anything. You could use this idea of using those three colours and apply it to other patterns. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you would like to see more video tutorials. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until next time, happy crochet.